<coughs> yeah, Aonet inge data ingestion is, uh, is another part of the uh, Aonet uh, family, you would say, of uh, thematic portals and, and activities that we undertake. And it has the name Wake Up Your Data. I'm doing this presentation also on behalf of Sissi Yona from ACMR and also on uh, Francis Strobe of Airbins, but also, of course, on, on the whole uh, community who is involved in this uh, project. Uh, what we see is that we uh, we have all we are all in need of quality information, and we already know this. We have blue economy, that's the blue environment. We we want to have good data, and there are many uh, infrastructures that are collecting data, and we see that there's a, a recent, let's say an assessment in 2010 made for Internet said that there was about 1.4 billion euro spent per year in Europe in collecting data about the sea, of which one uh, one billion for the in situ component and about 0.4 for the satellite, the remote sensing component. And that means that uh, there's a lot of data and of course then you could say also a percentage could be spent on data management to make this more accessible and uh, findable and reusable. And already we have uh, quite big infrastructures in Europe and you heard a lot of them uh, already uh, in this first day, but there will be more coming, let's say, over the days. Um, but I, I mentioned here a couple, let's say we have Eurogoose, we have the Copernicus work, we have the IHO, we're doing in the hydrographic uh, department. We have uh, ACTI, who is more in a geological data infrastructure. There's uh, Pangea, who's doing a lot in the science public publishing and uh, German uh, data sense. Uh, Eurobus, uh, biodiversity. And we have CDATANET and AWOTNET. And it means that we are already tackling a lot of the data that, that's uh, being created by this 1.4 billion. But still, we are not getting access to all. There is still a lot of data which is out there and it needs to be waken up, or woken up. That's, I think, the good English uh, expression. And for that purpose, we have, uh, we have Aimwood Ingestion. And Aimwood Ingestion is the idea, let's say, to uh, try to identify those data providers that have this kind of data, which can be useful for our work, for our science, but also for other uh, activities in society. And for that purpose, we set up an, uh, an extra portal and the portal has facilities to be able to ingest, to submit those data sets and make them part of the other infrastructures. So it's a little bit like you see in the workflow. There is a, a let's say a mailbox, a portal. People can submit data there and then it's being passed over to uh, assigned expert data centers. They can take this under our arm and they can publish it and also make it part later in the elaboration and elaborate to a level that they can ingest it in their own national portals and from there also in the European portals. And by this, it becomes available for the, let's say, for the whole society in, in Europe and, and, and broader. Um, it, it sounds very easy when we started this, but at the same time, I must say, it's quite a, a challenge because it's not so easy as it seems. It's really, uh, it's, we have an ambition, but still it's, uh, it's more difficult than we think in practice, but you will see. So we launched the uh, portal in, uh, in, in February 2017. There was the, with several services, like the submission service. Also, there's a few submissions, so you can see what has been published. And there's also a an, uh, an, uh, an cooperation. We are also looking forward, let's say, to, uh, to bring in more uh, population for the Internet Physics portal that was just explained by Antonio. So we're looking also at operators of uh, near real-time and real-time data networks to come forward for those that we don't have yet. If we look at the submission service, we have, uh, you can submit files. And we have, in the submission service, we have three levels, depending on the role. So we have the submitter, sorry, we have an assigned data center. They can work up the, the metadata and, uh, and also elaborate the data in the second phase. And thirdly, we have a, what we call a master role, so we can oversee all the submissions and also we can, uh, um, I call it, we can trigger the publishing of the, the forms which are ready for publication. This is uh, part of the submission service. It all looks very nice. And uh, we have forms, which are, of course, Inspire compliant. And uh, people can fill them in, um, making use of controlled vocabularies and also free text. Uh, we have two phases in the, in the submission. Phase one is publishing as is. That means that we do not elaborate the data. We only complete the metadata. And in the second phase, we try to elaborate the data to the level that we, it fits in our, in our uh, data centers and then can be made available for the wider AWONET community. And that's, uh, in fact, the data centers are assigned. And this is a little bit the processing. So you see that many of these European data infrastructures, they're involved in this uh, whole work. So we see the data, we see the Eurobus, we see ACTI. And in fact, all the different thematic lots of Amonet are involved in this Amonet ingestion uh, enterprise. Because we need all their networks to be able to cope and to deal with the data that's being ingested. But also we need them to, to uh, be an ambassador to identify potential uh, data holders. 
That means that at present we have 49 data centers in our network, which are all, say, they have specific thematics, they have specific expertise, and they can be assigned to submissions which are being uh, brought over to the, to the servers. And those which are published are then av available first at the Ethernet portal, ingestion portal, in the viewing service. But in the second stage, when they are elaborated, they're also available in different in thematic portals. And of course, also in CDNet and Eurobis, for instance. We also work on ingesting operational data. That's the cooperation together with uh, Ethernet Physics. And that means that we, uh, we do not uh, ask them to ingest, let's say, to the submission servers in the Ethernet ingestion, but we ask them to, to populate and become a partner in the in provision for Ethernet physics. But we're using the same, let's say, the, the identification and the marketing and then the, the outreach. We are, we are combining. So we have some sort of a roadshow in different countries, going through different countries, bringing together potential providers uh, and, and trying to convince them and encourage them to come over and release their data for open use. This is part of the cooperation that we have, let's say, for the operational data. So we work together with Copernicus, for instance, Instec, and, uh, and the CData centers, they do more the long-term validation, long-term storage, while the Instec do the near-real-time display, and then it becomes available for physics and also for Copernicus. So we do a lot of marketing and outreach. And that's, uh, in fact, we start uh, per, per country. So we have uh, people in, uh, in the different countries from the partnership. They identify potential data sources and data providers. They reach out to them, and they can reach out in many ways. They can organize a national meeting, a national Internet day. They have uh, leaflets. They can uh, do mailings. They can uh, go to conferences. They can give presentations. They can uh, visit institutes. They can ask their colleagues in their own institute who are working in different projects. Uh, with who are you working? Uh, are there any, interest, uh, any interesting uh, providers there? Let's talk to them. And that's a way, let's say, to get access and reach out to all those potential data providers. And once you have found them, then you have to help them, you have to support them, you have to encourage them, and you have to guide them through the process. And that means that we do a lot of outreach. So this is, an, uh, I must say, it's a little bit fake, but this is uh, the metro in, uh, in Brussels. And you see a nice poster of Ethernet ingestion. Wake up your data. Also on the right, you see a, a very nice uh, comic, I would say, a graphic. And later we'll see a small animation, which, which you, this will be explained to you, how this works. And this has been made by the Royal Belgian Institute for Natural Sciences, who are uh, doing the promotional material and, and the dissemination uh, coordination. So you also made these uh, nice uh, bookmarks. Attracting industry is, uh, is very important, because we do not only uh, look for science, we also look for, uh, let's say, the and governmental sources, uh, local municipalities, but we're also looking for industry. And uh, what you see is that the industry, uh, they always want to see what is a, what's a good business proposition. They do not like just the idea of having open data, and, and of course it's good for everybody, but why should we do it? Because it takes effort. <coughs> but uh, at the same time, we see that more and more the industry is using, or co-using, let's say, the, the products of Internet. And that was already illustrated by uh, several of the uh, use cases by uh, Antonio. Uh, also, we have it in, uh, in other domains, that we have something which they like, they use it to their interest, and of course, then the proposition could be, if you use it, why don't you bring also in your data? Because by with your data, we can enrich it and make it even more fit for your purpose. And that's something that we see more and more, uh, let's say, the, there is an interest. There is a, people are receptive to, the, to this idea. Uh, another thing is that what we do is that this is more on the voluntary side, but you can also do it on the other side. You can have the leverage. That means the government is uh, giving licenses for doing operations at sea. And those operations... Uh, yeah, in there you can say that they have to do a monitoring and the monitoring, impact assessment monitoring and, and in return they also have to bring this data to the open domain. And that's something that we see especially in, in the wind energy developments in the North Sea and also uh, oil and gas developments and other domains. Let's say we see that this works to do it with the leverage, you know, the, the, the big, let's say the, the government which has a, a leverage to get the data. Now here I see, show you some statistics. So we have quite some visitors to the portal from, from uh, day one, I would say. This is also because all the portals and all the Immortnet is making uh, promotion and we have these national tours and international tours. We have submissions more than 250 right now. And uh, 204 are now published and 42 have been elaborated to the level two. So they're now also available for the Immortnet uh, portals. Uh, per country is quite different. Some countries are very successful. Other countries we, uh, we, uh, we hardly uh, can, can count them, you would say. 
And also, if you look at themes, we see, of course, most in the physics domain, but that's understandable because most data in marine domain is physics. And uh, while we see in seabed habitat, it's very little, but it's also because it's quite rare to, to find that data. And most of the data that's in the seabed habitat is already being managed by the seabed habitat lot. Finally, I want to show you this one. It's an animation which uh, explains how the whole system works and also the why you should bring in your data. So let me see if it works. Wake up your data. Set them free at emodnetingestion.eu. Here at emodnet, we share lots of data, 24-7 hard-working data. But there's some loose ends to be tied up in order to keep these networks strong and durable. We know there's still sleeping data out there. Good morning, government. Ahoy, Navy and offshore industry. Hello, NGOs. What's up, scientists and academics? There's a need for your old and recent data to strengthen Europe's marine open data network. Emodnet's data ingestion portal helps to wake up your data so it can serve blue growth. In the long run, this is good for everyone's figures. This data ingestion portal is a unique piece that funnels massive quantities of documented data packages, providing them with spick and span metadata. Using it is quick and easy, thanks to the straightforward submission workflow. In no time, you'll become the local data barista. First, grab your marine ID to identify yourself. Next, submit your data package along with its metadata and relevant documentation. Continue by filling out the submission form. This pre-filled form provides feedback on the go. And although it uses controlled vocabulary, you don't have to speak marine-ish fluently. One of the specialized data centers guides you through the submission process until everything is ready for upload. These data centers give feedback, verify your data packages and tidy up their metadata. In addition to this quality check, they also provide safekeeping and further distribution of your data sets. That's right, every minute you invest pays off. There's even a help desk at your service if things get fuzzy or in case you had a rough night okay. or your cat jumped out the window or your friend flew in. Well, whatever the cause, once your work is done, outstanding marine data infrastructures process your beefed up data sets and finally feed them into one of our thematic portals. EMODnet offers bathymetry, geology, chemistry, physics, biology, seabed habitats, human activities, and coastal mapping. No need to browse all that. Just use the discovery and access service as a bypass to your submitted data packages or to find more data sets and data products. The data wanted service over here delivers data on demand. Tell us what you need, and if we don't have it, we'll try to find it and wake it up. Thanks to this roaring ingestion factory, eModnet can streamline massive data submission and finally turn data into value, while you get the credit and peer visibility. More than ever before, European marine data will work together. Embrace the opportunity to contribute to Blue Society. Set your data free for others to work with, and you'll get a strong net in return. Wake them up at emodnetingestion.eu.